Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm going to show you how to use OnX and InControl along with an Android powered device to use your GPS and turn on your lights automatically when you approach your home. Now first of all, InControl is an application that interfaces with your home automation. So this would include switches from Z-Wave or Clipsal and I'll go through the setup of that first of all. This assumes that you've already got in control set up and running. If you don't, there's lots of other tutorials on how to do that. First thing we want to do, in my case, I want to activate my garage light. We can see it in my list right here. So I want to set up a scene. So I click on my scene tabs and I'm going to make a new scene. From this one, I'm just going to call it garage on. And I want to add a new device to that. I'm going to scroll through this list until I find the garage light. And I'll check it and hit OK. Now you'll notice it pops up over here. I'm just going to drag the slider over here so that the light will be on for this scene. Now one thing I want to make sure I do is scroll down here and activate the scene. This will just do a quick test. I just went ahead and clicked that button and I, I can see the light from here just turned on. Okay, so, so make sure your scene works. And once your scene works, you're done with in control. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to open up the Onyx website. Now this is a website. It's www.onyx.ms. This is something that Microsoft made and it's free. So what this will do is use the GPS on my phone to track where I'm at. And once I've neared my home, it's going to tell in control to activate that scene we just created over there called garage on so what I want to do first is click create notice this is code don't worry I'm going to show you all all that you need to know to get this working so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to select in here and I'm going to delete all that code none of that's useful back here on the in control website I've posted some code that is useful so I'm going to highlight all that, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back over here to Onyx, and I'm going to paste it in. Okay. So there's a couple things in here that you'll need to do to customize this for your own home. First of all, we've got the latitude and longitude. You'll want to change that to be where your home is at. What I like to do is go to Google Maps and type in the address of my home. You can right click on the map. Let me show you. So if I lived in Kansas, I can come in here and what I can do is I can find a location. I can right click on it and say what's here. Now you'll notice right up here it put in my GPS coordinates. So those are the two numbers that I would need. Let me grab this one first. And I'll put it into my script right here. That's my latitude. Go back over here. Let's grab my longitude. Go back to on X and change my longitude. Okay, we're done there. The next step you need to do is find out what your external IP address is. Now up to this point you should have already made in control accessible from your phone on your 3G network. That step's required in order for Onyx to do its job. So also there's a separate tutorial that shows you how to do that. It's pretty simple but it requires a couple changes on your computer. So if you want to know what your external IP address is, go to a website called What's My IP. and it tells you right at the very top right there. So that's your IP address. So just copy that over into your Onyx script. I want to make sure I don't take out the HTTP. There, just like that. Now the final thing you need to customize is this scene name right here. I called mine Garage On, so I'm just going to leave it. But if you named yours something different, make sure you type it in exactly as it looks in InControl. Now I'm going to save this and send it to my phone. Oh, let's see, I'm going to give it my rule and name. So if you go up to this top right here, so garage lights on. 
Okay, now you can go ahead and save it and send it to your phone. And now, next time you get near your home, your garage lights should automatically turn on for you. Thank you.